Let's move on to number five. Okay, number five. I've just taken the liberty of opening up this template of a birthday card, and it is um, number five is going to be about layers and groups. Talked a little bit about groups already, so really we're going to do layering. And layering is important because sometimes you're going to be frustrated by something you bring in that you want to be behind something else. So, for example, let's say we get out of the car template and we get to our media and we want to bring in, um, again, I'm just randomly clicking the very first thing I see, which is this photo. Now, you'll notice over here on the right-hand side, that photo, since it was the last thing we brought in, is at the top. So it's covering literally everything on the whole thing because it's above everything else. But if I wanted to put this down and I wanted to be below or behind Happy Birthday Mom, then I can come over here because these are technically layers, and I can just drag this down to be behind Happy Birthday Mom. And it's now behind. So you get the idea that these layers are automatically generated. You don't have to know anything about layers. And they are automatically put in place for you. So this flowery kind of border. Like remember I told you before you can usually just double click or click to get to something. And sometimes it just might be hard. So you might temporarily move that behind everything else. So that you can get to the thing you want and then move it back. So maybe I want to get to that thing that is right there. I want to go ahead and remove the background from that photo, kind of putting them on the other background, and then I can move the flowers back up to the top. So it's in front. So uh, whenever you're having a hard time selecting things, just remember that you have layers to work with and the layers allow you to control what is, um, what is on top of what. And you also have the ability to lock something. So if you want to lock something, so it can't accidentally be moved. I can't click on uh, happy birthday and move it anymore because I locked that layer. It has a little lock layer icon on it to let me know that that layer has been locked. And every time, anytime I select it or come back to it, I can always unlock it so that I can get back to it and be able to move it around. And same thing here, I can get to the happy birthday or the, the picture of mom because I can see it behind there. And then I can go ahead and do remove background on that photo as well so that we have her kind of maybe off to the side and then we can go ahead and reshape and resize this so that it fits better so that happy birthday mom just looks better there so that is layering and if you want to create your own groups you can group as well so you don't you don't have to live with the groups that are in the template you can select two or more things and group them together for your own benefit now the, the mom, this new mom picture is now in the back, so it's kind of behind the flowers. I would just move it up in the layer stack. So it's above the flowers now. So her head is in front of that flower border or yarn border, whatever that is, and instead of behind it. So layering is very important and very easy to do in Adobe Express. And that was number five.